So last week, we talked about how Joe Biden was lying about progressive policy proposals like Medicare for All. And this week, he is continuing with that same trend. He's lying. And now he is name dropping other progressives in the race who support policies like Medicare for All. So we're going to get to what Biden said. And then I'm going to tell you Bernie Sanders response, because finally, Bernie Sanders is beginning to take off the gloves. And that is long overdue. Because if you're going to sit here and lie about Medicare for all, then you deserve to be attacked because you are propping up a system that incentivizes profit over people. And that's immoral. That makes you a bad person. But Joe Biden is rich, so he doesn't have to worry about losing health insurance. This is just about maintaining the status quo. That's why he's running. He's saying, if I become elected, nothing will fundamentally change. He says this to rich elites in a closed door meeting. So he is the status quo candidate. And he continues to attack these new bold progressive policy proposals that he was too chicken to fight for when he was in power. So here's what he said specifically. According to Kate Gluck of the New York Times, he said, quote, I admire the rest of the field from Bernie to Elizabeth to Kamala who want, you know, Medicare for all. But let me tell you, I think one of the most significant things we've done in our administration is pass the Affordable Care Act, Mr. Biden said to applause here Saturday morning, referencing the signature health care measure passed under the Obama administration. He said that he wanted to strengthen the Affordable Care Act and to add a public option, something he acknowledged could come with a significant price tag. But it doesn't cost $3 trillion and it can be done quickly, he continued, when asked about differences among the Democratic candidates, quote, I don't know why we'd get rid of what in fact is working and move to something totally new. And so there are differences. Bernie's been very honest about it, he said, of Medicare for All. He said, you're going to have to raise taxes on the middle class. He says it's going to end all private insurance. I mean, he's been straightforward about it and he's making his case. So here, Joe Biden is being a disingenuous smear merchant. He's saying Bernie Sanders wants to raise your taxes. The implication is Bernie Sanders is trying to harm you. But what he's leaving out, conveniently so, is that if we raise taxes to pay for health care, you're no longer going to be paying your monthly health insurance premium, co-pays, deductibles, and overall you end up saving thousands of dollars per year if you are the average American. So he's lying. This is a lie. Joe Biden, even though he's a dumb guy, he's intelligent enough to know the policy details. He knows that Medicare for all is better for people, but he's trying to frame it as something that's radical and new when the Affordable Care Act was something that was new. It was a new idea cooked up by the Heritage Foundation and was implemented by Mitt Romney, and it was a response originally to the support that was emerging for single payer. And Bernie is the one who's saying, look, let's take our existing system and let's tweak it. Let's improve Medicare first, close all the gaps, and then we'll just expand what we already have. That simple. And then everyone will have healthcare, it'll be free at the point of service, and then nobody will die if they can't afford insurance. But Joe Biden's lying. Now, Bernie responded, and thankfully, he's starting to get a little bit more forceful in pushing back because these are lies and you need to treat them very seriously because this is harmful. So here's what Bernie said. In an interview, Mr. Sanders, who introduced the Medicare for All Act in the Senate and sometimes comes in second to Mr. Biden in early polls, bristled at Mr. Biden's remarks as he stressed that he too had been committed to passing and protecting the Affordable Care Act even as he now advocates for something more far-reaching. He also took issue with what he perceived as Mr. Biden's suggestion that the transition to Medicare for All could leave people with gaps in medical care, calling such an implication totally absurd. Obviously, what Biden was doing, Mr. Sanders said, is what the insurance companies and the pharmaceutical industries, Republicans, do, ignoring the fact that people will save money on their health care because they will no longer have to pay premiums or out-of-pocket expenses. They will no longer have high deductibles and high co-payments. Asked whether it was fair to put Mr. Biden in the same category as the insurance and pharmaceutical industries given his role in advancing the Affordable Care Act in the first place, Mr. Sanders replied, the charge that he's making is exactly what the Republicans are saying. And this is exactly what Bernie Sanders needs to do. Take the fucking 
gloves off. Don't preface any criticism you have of Joe Biden with, well, you know, Joe Biden is a friend of mine, but take the gloves off. Start really saying what Joe Biden is about. He's propping up a system where people are dying. People are dying because of our current system. Joe Biden has blood on his hands because he refuses to challenge the for-profit healthcare industry that profits off of ripping people off who need healthcare. Take the gloves off. And he's finally starting to realize that this is what you have to do. No more playing nice. No more playing nice with people who don't care about human beings and their suffering. He only cares about getting elected. And he knows, Joe Biden knows, that part of getting elected means you have to take lots of money from the pharmaceutical industry, from the healthcare industry, and that means you also have to do their bidding. No more playing nice, take the gloves off, and rip him a new fucking asshole because that's what's warranted. Because if you're going to prop up a pro-death system, then that's what you should be called. Someone who is advocating on behalf of a pro-death system where we don't prioritize healthcare, we prioritize profit, which means there's going to be a lot of casualties as a result. Thousands of people will die every single year if we keep the current system in place. And even if we get a public option, with which I don't believe that Joe Biden actually supports because he didn't even push for it when him and Obama had power when they had a supermajority. So even if we got that, though, people would still be left out. Because if you don't have a penny to your name and you need health care, you still can't afford it. You can't afford a public option. A public option that will inevitably be watered down by the for-profit market forces that you are leaving intact under your bullshit incrementalist approach. Now, Bernie also tweeted a little bit more about this, saying... Human lives are more important than corporate profits, period. Hashtag Medicare for all. Our dysfunctional system is designed not to provide healthcare in the most cost-effective way, but to make as much money as possible for insurance and drug companies, investment banks, and real estate firms. That's wrong, that's immoral, and we are going to change it. Under Medicare for all, you will never lose coverage, even if you change jobs, turn 26, move to another state, have a pre-existing condition, start a business, get laid off, get divorced, retire early. Not crazy. Passing Medicare for all and guaranteeing healthcare like every other major country, actually crazy? A healthcare system designed to make as much profit for corporations as possible while letting ordinary people die. Now, he also talked about how he campaigned for and defended the Affordable Care Act. And I love everything that he's saying here, but he's got to go a step further. He's got to tie Joe Biden's name to it. Attack him. Hit him hard, Bernie, because this is what you have to do to win. Other people are starting to creep up on you. Elizabeth Warren, Kamala Harris, they're getting close to you in the polls. And Joe Biden, even though he's coming down, he's not coming down fast enough. So take the gloves off. Put Joe Biden on defense. Because what Kamala Harris showed was that he doesn't know how to defend himself. He doesn't know how to defend himself. Call him a shill because he is a shill. Like, Bernie has got to start getting tough. Like, this is your last shot. This is your last chance to become president. I mean, I think that Bernie Sanders largely is running a good campaign. He knows what he's doing. And he's not wrong to stay issues focused. But he's got to take the gloves off. He's got to attack. There's a reason why people like Kamala Harris are gaining in the polls. It's because they've taken the gloves off and they are attacking Joe Biden and exposing him for the fraud that he is. If you want to also climb in the polls, Bernie, you've got to do that too. He's calling out your signature policy. So you have every right to respond and attack it as viciously as he's attacking Medicare for all. So, I mean, Bernie Sanders has got to take the gloves off and he started to do that here, but take it a step further. Call him out by name. Call out the donations that he has received from the health insurance industry. Put him on the defensive. Because if you really want him to shut up about Medicare for All and stop attacking it, that's what you've got to do. Because once Kamala went after him for talking about how wonderful these segregationists were in Congress that he worked with, he stopped talking about it. So he's someone who doesn't respond well to criticism because he's a narcissist. So attack him and watch him unravel. It's that simple. You've got to take the gloves off. You didn't draw first blood if you respond to an attack that he lobbed against you initially. You're just responding to criticism. It's that simple. So keep this up, Bernie, but go harder because that's the only way you're going to win.